Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. And this is my video view of a Regen Tech, that's the brand there, R-E-G-E-T-E-K. This is their food and grill meat thermometer kit. And what you see is what it comes with. It has a transmitter unit, receiver unit, stainless steel clips to hold them. And these other parts right here, we're gonna go over everything. The probes, instruction sheet, and includes batteries so that you can get this up and running pretty quickly. Now this features a clock timer that can go up or down up to 99 hours and 59 minutes. It's FDA approved and has dual probes. They're 4.7 inches. They're food grade stainless steel that they're made out of. We're going to test that too. Independent temperature monitors. The uh, cable here is a mesh cable, and we're going to measure that. I think it's supposed to be 47 inches. The uh, company provides a lifetime warranty on these probes, so you know that they're going to be very durable. So you could use this as a candy thermometer, meat thermometer, general food, a smoker thermometer for your oven, or your grill. Has high and low temperature alarm function, and it's US. DA recommended temperature control preset temperatures for various meat products and it has a very wide temperature range of 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 572 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees centigrade to 300 degrees centigrade. It has a large LCD display we're going to show and the carrying case and the batteries are included. So this nice carrying case zippers up and it holds that all together, which is nice. You can put this in a drawer and it doesn't take up much space at all if you look at the profile of that. So we're gonna uh, put the batteries in this and power it up and, and see how it performs. Okay, so here's the two probes and we're gonna put the batteries in. It comes with these little stainless steel stands and on the unit, you have the top facing that way and you wanna put this that way. There's these little holes on the side right here that that goes right into, just like that. And then that allows the unit to stand. Very simple to do. Just like that. So that's the first thing. And now we're going to uh, put the batteries in. Now this is a little bit different than other so I've seen. You have to push that right there. It allows it to open and you do the other side. So it's got two sides on there. And then you have the spring side which is the negative. Put that on there like that. And then you put the other battery on the spring side negative and the tab on the positive. And there is positive and negative marked in the plastic just like that. Then I like to spin it just a little bit just to remove any oxidation. And let's go to the top here and put this back on. So I have the probes plugged in to the transmitter unit. And the first thing you'll notice is that it will show the temperature 79 degrees on each one of those probes. I haven't set any temperatures right there. But this is transmitting over to the receiver. So you can see it right there. So that's pretty neat. That means you could have your probes on your barbecue or your oven, your smoker, and it could be outdoors. And you could have this inside your house and doing other things. And then you could actually be 500 feet away. And it automatically links these two together so that you can monitor that temperature. So if I touch this probe right here, with my hand, let's put this probe right here. Let's see what happens. So I see on the remote one that the temperature is going up. See it's going 88 and it's also going up on the transmitter right here. So let's let go of that probe right there and it should slowly drop down. Now if I touch the other probe with my hand right here, then I see 
that temperature going up also. You see on the bottom right there, it's going up measuring my temperature hand, my hand. This one's also going up right here. So they're obviously responding and they're communicating to each other to allow that temperature to be remotely seen in another room. That's one of the main features of this unit that I've never seen before. That's very nice. So to use the uh, timer function, which is on the top of the screen, we hit this button right here, which has a little play symbol on there. Then you notice that it starts advancing on the top. And that will be a count up timer that you can use if you want to time anything that you're cooking. And then if you hit it again, it stops. Then this is a reset button for it goes to all zeros for the timer. So let's say you want to uh, use the probe for beef. So you hit the set button and you see it's going to go through the Fahrenheit display blinking. We're going to leave it at Fahrenheit. And now you notice that the temperature, the probe one temperature, you can control. Let's drop that down. It defaults to the normal uh, uh, FDA settings. Then you hit it again, and now we can set the probe two, and we can drop the high temperature down. Hit it again, and you could set the lower number two right there, which is the low end. So you have a selection right there of how you want it to alarm you for the for beef, uh, so that you don't. Uh, burn it or get it to the right temperature that you want, medium well or whatever you're going to do. There's a button right here that's got the little light on there and that turns on an LED light. Now you're not going to see it because I have studio lights on here, but it does illuminate the light. You can also shut the alarm off right there. So what's my overall opinion about this Regentech brand real meat thermometer? Well, all these features this has, once you get to learn how to operate everything on there, you're really going to like this. This is a nice kit because it includes the battery, the holder. You can't go wrong. The accuracy seems to be really good. And it's one of these things where if you're going to be cooking meat and you want to get the precise temperature, you really need something like this. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.